there's some great images there from the MS Sydney to Gong ride. So it's a perfect segue to introduce our guest, Ben Kirsten, who's an ambassador. Welcome to the show, Ben. Yeah, guys, thanks for having me. All right, now, well, let's talk about the Gong ride itself. We'll get into your details as a former professional cyclist as well a little bit later, but let's just talk about the MS Gong ride itself. It's huge. Yeah, it's a really good event. It's as old as I am now, 34 years old. Um, it's very iconic and um, I've been doing it for a long time. I started as an 11-year-old doing it. And it goes from Sydney down to Wollongong on the coast road, goes through the National Park, the oldest national park in Australia, and um, it goes over the coast bridge in uh, Scarborough. You often see it on uh, multiple car ads around um, on the television. And uh, yeah, it's just an amazing event. 10,000 people. We're hoping to raise uh, $3.8 million this year. And uh, yeah, it's just exciting. It must be a good event to be involved in. I mean, it's the biggest fundraiser for MS, as you said, the money that is raised. But it's something we all love, isn't it? Riding our bikes, so raising money, and you're doing it on, a, on the push bike. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky. Um, all, all of the synergies for me being involved with the event. It goes on my favourite training route I used to do like twice a week. I'm from Wollongong, I live in Sydney, and um, I, I drive social responsibility within our team, and this is something I just couldn't say no to. It's my second year. Uh, Brad, Brad McGee as well, he's been doing it for a long time. He did it on a, a tandem with his wife, Shani, many, many years ago, and they're still together, so it shows how, how <laughs> nice that ride is. <laughs> well, the Kirsten family are a very famous cycling family from Wollongong, and you said that these are some of your old training roads. Mm -hmm. Do you get back down there that often now? Because you're up based in Sydney now. Uh, we try to. I'm going down this weekend uh, for my birthday to have lunch, but uh, I was, I'll bring my bike and, uh, ironically, I'll, I'll do that ride again. Mm. So uh, if I do ride, that's the one I do. And uh, for the reason I said, it's, it's one of the best in Australia and it's one of the best in the world, and Brad and I just can't talk about it enough. And we try and do as many training camps as we can on that circuit. Mm. And we're very lucky to have those roads available to us on that second of, or first of November every year, so it's, it's brilliant. I was just looking at some of the, the pics there of you, Benny, and in the national colours. I think it was the Com Games uh, in Melbourne. You won the gold there. And you met a guy like Chris Hoy. Um, you know, the transition for you to do what you do now, but you beat some of the world's best. Uh, what, what was it like in your career? Uh, that, that was certainly an amazing year for me to win the Commonwealth Games. And I had a pretty tough era that I was racing against this, this freak that was pretty much unbeatable. When, all respect to him and um, I'm realistic about myself. I did some really great races but I wasn't at the level of him and I spent most of my re career just, <laughs> just trying to knock him off and, and I did on that one time which happened to be my last kilo and they took it out of the Olympics after that. So more than just beating him on that one occasion, it was a life changer for me because it was the last time we'd all get to do it again seriously because, you know, as they take it out of the Olympics, uh, the emphasis really goes away on it. So. After that, it was a switch to road racing and the love for the kilo died and I can always just, you know, hang my hat on, the, on finally getting, getting one over him. Mm -hmm. We're now in the coaching circles with uh, New, New South Wales Institute of Sport and one of the riders that you work with is Annalisa Hull, who we saw won a bronze medal at the World Championships in the time trial. You must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, we're just all blown away by her professionalism and her tenacity. I was actually scared to death when I met Annalisa. I was a six, you were scared to death. As a 16-year-old, just scared the pants off of me. She's so ferocious. And you don't expect that. In a nice way. In a... With all respect, with all respect. <laughs> but you're just not used to it when you meet a 16-year-old little petite girl that they're actually a killer in disguise. And, mm. and that's why she gets the results she does. No one's going to stand in her way. And uh, with a lot of respect for her at N-Swiss. Mm. And um, we try everything we can to help her out. Hmm. Where do you think she's going to head? She's got the road race coming up now for the under-19s. She must be a big chance for that. Yeah, for sure. As I said, she's an animal and she's a race winner and she knows she knows hmm. how to win races. Uh, they don't have big teams there and she hasn't ever had uh, to race in a team too much, so she doesn't depend on a team to be hmm. able to win. She knows how to do it by herself and, yeah, she's an opportunist and hmm. she can do a lot of stuff. Hmm. Absolutely. Well, let's uh, put up the, uh, the information there for the MS Gong Ride, how to register. It's $100, I think. Is that right, Benny, to register? Yeah, it's $100. And uh, also, you, uh, you, the, the fundraising is self-raised as well on top of that. So that goes to pay for the event. So you've got to go and raise your own funds on top of that. Or you can click on the msgongride.org.au uh, and sponsor me to do it if you can't get there yourself. So, yeah, try and make me look a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show, mate. Now, um, after the break, then we'll get some more spinning yarns from John Javorrow.